In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can sign up to Binance, buy Solana or USDC and then send it into our phantom wallet. Let's wake up the ghost. Let's send something here. So we're at Binance's Twitter. I always like to start at the Twitter account for the company or project that we're dealing with. That way we can always check the followers and logically work out if it's the correct account. And then we can click on the link and we can be sure we've got the right link. With Binance, it's easy. It's just Binance.com. Binance is available on your mobile phone as well as a desktop application and it's also available in your browser. I have a referral link below which helps you and helps me. So click on that to register and then we'll go and we'll register as per normal. We won't go through this step by step as it's basically the same process as Coinbase. But you sign up with an email, Google or Apple, add your email address, paste in a referral ID, hopefully mine, then next, do the capture, add your account code, submit. Set a password. I like to use one password. Save. Next. And done. Now you have $200 worth of trading fee credit. Then we can go to deposit and then buy crypto. We'll get some Solana, 50 euros worth, but we can change this to another currency. Buy Sol. And then we start our verification process. So this is the KYC process. KYC as a reminder stands for know your customer. It says the review takes up to 13 days. Normally it's very fast. You need some ID and normally your mobile phone will be fine for the facial verification. Once we've deposited our fiat, the easiest thing to do is to go to trade and then just convert. We can cover this in another tutorial, but for today, convert. Then you select your currency. So in my case, it would be euros and I would select Solana. I would put in my order, preview the conversion, and if I had euros available, I could then do a swap. I'm going to do a swap with USDT. We'll just do $20, preview, and convert. Okay, now we can go to our wallet and click on Fiat and Spot, Deposit and Withdraw. Now at this page, we just click on Withdraw. This is the panel that we would use to withdraw to our bank account. If we sold crypto, it says Withdraw Fiat. We'll click on Withdraw Crypto. Then we can select our coin. So I've typed in Sol, I'll select Sol. You can see my Sol balance here. Now I have to enter the address. So come up to Phantom, Deposit, Solana, Copy. Enter the address. It auto matches the network. It's either Solana or Binance Smart Chain, which is an Ethereum type of network. So that's correct. We of course will always double check our address. The first four characters and the last four characters, it's a match. Then we put in the withdrawal amount. We can do max or we can do as we like. There's a small network fee. Then we go and withdraw, continue, and we do our two-factor authenticator actions. Now, if we wanted to deposit crypto, we'd just go to deposit, deposit crypto. We would select the coin, Sol, select Solana, select a network as being Solana and only Solana. And then we can see our deposit address. This is not my real deposit address. And your deposit address will be different. Then you click on the copy button to copy it. And then you go to your phantom wallet, select the asset you want to send, click send, paste it, and double check the first four and the last four characters always. We can see we have a perfect match. Put in the amount, then click next, and send. After a couple of seconds, it would have sent. Didn't even take two seconds. That will then show up down here very quickly as a recent deposit. Please note, although the blockchain is basically instant, Binance and other centralized exchanges, they can take a little bit of time to actually credit it to your account. Most of the time, I see it happen within just a few minutes, but it can take hours and you may need to reach out to support if need be. To do that, just have a look at the frequently asked questions and just click on deposit hasn't arrived. Super important, always copy your address. Copy and paste, never freehand type ever, and always check the first four characters and the last four characters as a minimum. This address here is case sensitive, meaning a capital letter must be a capital letter. Let me show you one more example. We'll do USDC, USD coin, select the network, scroll on down and select Solana. Don't worry about this, this is normal, just click OK. This makes no difference whatsoever. You can see with Binance, you have the same address. This is different to Coinbase. So you just copy the address, go to your Phantom Wallet, find your USD coin, send, paste, add in the amount, next, and send. And Solana and Phantom, so fast. There may be other tokens that Binance supports here as well, such as Radium, and quite often you will see this. This is completely normal all the time. I'll show you one more thing, just so you don't get confused. If you buy Ethereum on the Solana blockchain, 
click on Ethereum, you can see we cannot send it to Binance. It's not possible. I'll show you that quickly. Swap, Sol, ETH, one Sol, gets us a small amount of ETH, and we can swap it. So we can have Ethereum on the Solana blockchain, but we cannot send it to Binance. We'll cover that in another video. That's all for this tutorial. Watch the next tutorial on getting to know your Phantom Wallet in depth. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.